Maya, who was thought to be Nirmada's daughter, captured the heart of Joshua, an American soldier on a quest to track down the leader of the simulants. Joshua hoped that, with the aid of Alfie, a simulant with technological control, he would be able to locate Maya again after five years of mourning. Will the battle between the Americans and the imposters come to a conclusion, and will he find Maya? The film opens with a television program showing the advancements in artificial intelligence throughout the years. It advanced so much that an AI became even more human than humans. But in just 10 years, AI was outlawed and targeted by the government after the disastrous nuclear explosion. The scene shifts to Konan, New Asia in the year 2065. Nomads are now hunting Nirmata, the leader and creator of the simulants. Maya and Joshua are happily lying on the bed, talking about their unborn baby when they hear a loud bang from downstairs. An AI is hitting an American nomad soldier to know who leaked their location. Maya gets upstairs to grab her belongings while the AIs head outdoors. Being an undercover agent for the nomads, Joshua informs them that Nirmata is not present in their location to stop their raid. But gunfire ensues from the two forces clashing outside. While relaying information to the nomads, Maya sees him talking to the radio. Joshua tries to convince Maya that the nomads only want Nirmata and not her. He assures her that she does not want to hurt her. But, feeling betrayed and heartbroken at Joshua's betrayal, Maya aims the gun at Joshua contemplating whether to shoot her lover. Joshua urges Maya to come with her because the AIs are not real people. When the soldiers arrive, Maya hurries outside to get away using the prepared boats by the Nirmadas. As they were fleeing, the huge ship of the Nomads targets their location and sends a missile eliminating every single person in AI. Five years after the ambush in Konan, Joshua wakes up with heavy breaths. While inside the CT scanner, he recalls his time as an undercover agent. In the next scene, Joshua and his team can be seen collecting AI bodies to be crushed by a huge machine. As they inspect a car, one robot suddenly turns alive shouting for its loved one's safety. Joshua puts it out of its misery by cutting the wires connected to its brain. Meanwhile, two high-ranking officers, General Andrews and Colonel Howell visit Joshua to show him and confirm the location of Nirmata. They are trying to convince Joshua to lead a team to prevent the extinction of humans and to win the war against the AIs. Joshua snaps and says that the mission failed because of the nomads who interfered in Konan, resulting in the loss of his wife and unborn child. The general then shows footage of Maya and the AIs two days ago. They then promise to bring Maya back to Joshua once he cooperates and points out the location of Nirmata. On the plane, Joshua leads the team and orients the soldiers on how they will enter the laboratory of Nirmata. They arrive at the target location and they find the village with whom they suspect are hiding the Nirmata. After forcefully interrogating the villagers, Joshua finds the secret passage under the ground. The soldier shoots at everyone in the lab, and Joshua rushes to the surveillance room to check if Maya is inside the lab. They go further inside, and the soldier uses the face of a dead scientist to enter every door they can go. Outside, local police arrive at the scene, but they get decimated with missiles. Meanwhile, the soldiers find a door lock that needs a special device to open. With everyone busy fighting, Joshua is left alone when suddenly, the door opens. Joshua goes inside and finds a half-AI kid inside the room. Out of nowhere, a scientist shoots Joshua in the shoulder and instructs the kid to find Nirmata and escape immediately. The child climbs the ladder and he witnesses people fleeing for their lives across the field. It is total chaos as nomads try to escape from the bomb that they planted in the laboratory. The soldiers tried to flee, but a soldier who had been shot had had a bomb on her back. The bomb detonates inside the aircraft while it's in the air. The nomads then launch a missile at the laboratory turning it all to nothing. Joshua wakes up on a boat and sees the kid from the laboratory staring at him. He tries to drive away the kid but it just follows him across the field. There, he finds Shipley gravely wounded and needs medical attention. They go to the nearest house to take care of his wounds. Suddenly, the TV turns on, and, to his surprise, he finds the kid watching it. He turns it off, but the kid can control the technology and turns the TV on again. Joshua receives a call from Colonel Howell instructing him to bring the kid to her, but she gets caught by the local police. On the farmhouse, the owner of the house arrives and tries to kill Joshua, but Joshua manages to shoot him first. Joshua then uses the farmer's car to escape from the police who had surrounded them and shot at them. The kid turned on the car radio with her ability, and they left the robotic police behind. Inside the police mobile, Colonel Howell manages to kill the police with the help of a soldier. After several gunshots, they take control of the vehicle, on the other hand, Joshua's car runs out of gas and they are forced to a stop, he asks the kid where Maya is because the kid seems to recognize her. 
Shipley, who was begging to save his life, couldn't make it and died inside the car. As a car approach, Joshua gives the child a bonnet and calls her Alfie. They asked the man if they could get a ride after getting out of the vehicle. Colonel Howell tracked Shipley's location, finding out he was already dead. She gets some memories out of Shipley and inserts them into the dead police simulant. For about 30 seconds, Shipley was temporarily alive and able to say that the ultimate weapon was the kid that was with Joshua. They move out immediately thinking that Joshua betrayed them. Everywhere they go, there are checkpoints are made. When the cops saw Alfie, they were in a family vehicle. Alfie quickly turned off the power to the entire region and accelerated their vehicle so they could get away. Joshua even made it to the wanted poster as the whole country is looking for him. Joshua experiences flashbacks of how he began the mission to win Maya over so she would divulge Nirmana's whereabouts. After long travel, they arrive at Drew's shop. He is a friend of Joshua who owns a place where robots are being made. Joshua insists that Maya is still alive and with the help of Alfie, they can be together again. Upon further inspection of Alfie, Drew says that Alfie is the most advanced AI he has ever seen. While most robots are duplicates, Alfie is something that can evolve. Even her powers have the potential to be much greater in the future. After receiving a report from a resident, the police force prepares to raid the Drew's shop. Alfie can sense technology that is after her, and she warns Cammy, Drew's girlfriend, that the police have already surrounded the building. The ice cream delivery man turns out to be one of the police and plants a bomb in the ice cream delivery. The police find Alfie watching TV and are about to stun her. Luckily, Joshua arrives and shoots at the police. Though he was nearly captured, he was able to stun the authorities. They go straight to Drew and learn about Cammy's death. Colonel Howell and the soldier kill the others by dressing like police officers, although heartbroken, Drew still accompanies Joshua and Alfie. Using the ring Joshua gave Maya, they track her down to Joshua's former home, close to the shore. Joshua ignores Drew's repeated warnings about the danger he will be in since all he wants is to see Maya and be with her once again. Joshua goes inside the ruined house and finds the ring tracker, but no one is inside. Alfie is behind him, and Joshua begs to know where Maya is. Drew arrives to warn them of the enemy coming in but the plane shoots him. Before Drew takes his final breath, he confesses that Nirmata and Maya are the same person they were hunting down. The simulants, who are Alfie's friends, capture Joshua. A robot then knocks Joshua unconscious, before opening his eyes, Joshua experiences memories of the time spent together with Maya. When he wakes up on the ship, Harun explains to them while they were on the ship that they will never harm humans. The accident from before that made nomads hunt the robots was because of a human coding error. It was never their fault in the first place. And the nomads plan to get to Maya by using Joshua. So Harun decides to kill Joshua so that they can no longer follow Maya. But just as he is about to shoot, they hear screaming from the radio. Their base is getting raided by the nomads. Joshua is then helped to flee by Alfie. He clings to the underside of the ship and they arrive in the village. There, it can be seen how much damage the nomads have done. Joshua goes out of the water and hears Harun declare that Alfie is the ultimate weapon capable of neutralizing the nomads' technological advances. But it will still take time for Alfie to succeed because she is still young. While the others are resting, Joshua slowly enters the hut and shuts off Harun. He then retrieves Alfie and they escape. Once more, the nomads raid the village in an attempt to find Alfie. They brought war machines that destroyed everything in its path. Alfie witnesses this and she jumps out of the boat to go back to the village to help the villagers, IT is raining gunfire, boats, and ships explode. The first bomb Colonel Howell dropped blew up. Just as the second bomb is about to hit, Alfie manages to stop it. However, a soldier shoots at Alfie knocking her down. Joshua arrives to save Alfie, and he kills the soldier. Before the bomb blows, Joshua grabs Alfie to safety. The attacks continued but luckily, they were able to escape using the boat, Nirmata is at the AI village, where Harun brought Alfie and Joshua. Maya expressed in flashbacks that she wants the conflict to cease due to the significant harm it has done to AI and mankind. Joshua goes to meet Maya at the top of the mountains. Upon entering the temple, he sees Maya in a life support. Simulants could not harm Nirmata. So they could not remove Maya's life support even though she had been dead for five years. He then turns off the life support of Maya which frees her from her suffering. Alfie and Joshua share a moment of mourning. Colonel Howell however interrupts as she shows up to retrieve Alfie and Maya's memories. Colonel Howell is facing gunfire from Harun, but two soldiers intervened. 
Harun still shoots Colonel Howell while also placing a bomb on her back. The bomb makes Colonel Howell and the soldiers anxious as they attempt to shoot Alfie when she tries to stop the bomb. But this made the bomb explode killing Howell off, Harun gets back on his feet to combat the nomads. Joshua took Maya's memories on the chip before leaving. Despite Alfie and Joshua's best efforts to flee, General Andrews captured them and took them to Fort Valor. The temples get bombed and the nomads, with Joshua and Alfie, escape. After experimenting with Alfie, General Andrew decides to kill her, however, due to her powers, they cannot do it, only with the help of Joshua can make it happen as he is trusted by Alfie. The general soon learns that Joshua had not killed Alfie, but instead put her in standby mode, and he becomes alarmed. Using Alfie's powers they began their escape. He devises a plan while Alfie utilizes her power to manipulate the AI to allow them to get through. Despite General Andrew's attempts to halt all aircraft, Joshua and Alfie continue to fly. Alfie maneuvers the plane to land on the Nomad base. With no sign of the two, the soldiers prepare to board the plane, Joshua unlocks the door as soldiers enter the aircraft, causing all of them to fly out of the plane. To halt the missile, Joshua gave Alfie instructions to head to the control room and turn off the power. Alfie heads inside while General Andrew orders launching rockets. Joshua is able to place a bomb on the final missile after Alfie has successfully turned off the electricity. On her way back to the plane, Alfie finds the simulant that looks like her mother, Maya. Alfie then takes it with her and inserts the memories of Maya. Joshua is running out of oxygen in time. And Alfie had no choice but to leave Maya's simulant. She came to save Joshua and prepared the escape pod. The missiles were still going to the designated targets. General Andrew activated the remote unit to kill Alfie. Joshua closed the door of the escape pod, destroying one of the remote unit hands. It targeted Joshua, but Alfie shut it down. People and simulants were watching the missiles and waiting for their deaths. Luckily, the bomb that Joshua planted on the missile exploded, and the whole nomad base was destroyed. The missiles were out of control and failed to detonate when they reached their designated area. After saying their tearful goodbyes to one another, Joshua launched the escape pod. Just before the Nomad's base was completely destroyed, Joshua unexpectedly ran into Maya again, and the two kissed, following their victory over the Americans and Nomads, New Asia and the Simulants celebrated at the end of the film. With tears in her eyes, Alfie expresses her happiness at the freedom that humans and Simulants now have.